boys and girls, and welcome back. This is Mrs. Wolf, the principal of Geraldine Johnson School, and I am very excited to be opening up this school year. A lot of things will be different this year, a lot of things will stay the same, but the biggest difference this year is that every day, every day you're in the building, you will have to wear a mask all day long. I have my mask here, I'm gonna put it on before I go into the building and show you around. So you will have to wear a mask like I am wearing right now. You'll have to wear it every day. There will be some times throughout the day where you will be able to take it off, such as a mask break that you will have throughout the day. And when you're having lunch or snack, you will also be able to take it off. And there may be some other opportunities, but we ask that you keep it on and you maintain self-control as much as you can to keep the mask on, keep you safe, and to keep all the boys and girls around you safe. Let's go into the building and take a look at what's going on inside. All right, well, here we are in the lobby of our school. There are many new things uh, that are here that have never been here before. As you walk through the building, you will see signs and postage everywhere to keep you and all the other students safe and healthy. So you will see signs like this one that says to make sure and to remind you to wear your face mask. You will see signs on the floor that direct you in one-way traffic. We will to try to stay to the right of the hallways and the building. And then you will see sanitizing stations that are throughout the building. There are two in the front office area, and then there are sanitizing stations outside every bathroom. And you'll get a chance to see this as we walk through the building. Let's go into the main office. A lot of you have been here already. Many of you will probably not come up for any time this year. We're gonna limit visitors that come up to the office unless it's an emergency. New this year is that no visitors or parents will be allowed in the building unless they have an appointment. So visitors and parents Unfortunately, you will not be allowed into the building unless you have an appointment. And of that, of course, is to keep everybody safe as much as possible. When you do come to the main office, if you have to drop something off, we do have plexiglass here to protect our clerical. And we also have six feet markers on the floor to, to maintain social distance. All right, boys and girls, here we are in the cafeteria. I know you all love coming in here to have lunch, but unfortunately, that's gonna be a little bit different this year. Most of you will have lunch in your classroom. Grades K, pre-K, one and two, you will have lunch in your classroom and the lunch will be delivered right to your door. For grades three, four and five, you will also have lunch in your classroom. However, yours will be delivered to your hallway and you'll just get it from your hallway. For grades six, seventh and eight, you will be able to come down to the cafeteria and have lunch, but it will only be one grade at a time because we have to maintain social distance. If you take a look at the cafeteria, all the benches are facing one way, and there are markers on the seats that are six feet apart from each other, again, to maintain social distancing and to keep everybody safe. The other change this year is that we will only use one side of the kitchen, and there are one-way markers in the kitchen. There are also markers that tell you to stand six feet away from each other. It will be very organized this year, how you go up and get your lunch, because we wanna make sure that there's not too many students standing in line at once, and that they're able to maintain the six feet distance. When you are eating, you will be able to take down your mask and you'll be able to eat. But you will have to wear your mask on your way into the cafeteria and on your way out of the cafeteria. All right, boys and girls, here we are outside of one of our bathrooms. And I just wanna show you that we did add some sanitizing stations outside every bathroom. So before you go into the bathroom, we ask that you sanitize your hands. It is automatic, so you do not have to touch it. Just put your hand under it. And it will come out and you can clean your hands on the way into the bathroom and on the way out of the bathroom. The other difference is that two of the sinks out of the five sinks will be turned off. So you can't use them, they will be covered so that uh, we are social distancing inside of the bathroom. There are social distancing markers outside of the bathroom. We would only like to have three inside of the bathroom at one time. The other students we ask to just wait outside until somebody comes out and you can make your way inside. Those in the lower grades, kindergarten and first grade, you have bathrooms inside of your room, so your teacher will come up with procedures for using the bathroom inside the classroom. But outside the classroom for grades two, most of one, and all the other grades, you will have a schedule. The teacher will allow you to use the bathroom during certain times to maintain social distancing. And again, boys and girls, just to show you that the bathrooms in the classroom also have hand sanitizers. So if you need to use the bathroom in the classrooms for kindergarten and some of our first grade and pre-K, you hand sanitize before you go into the bathroom, and then you hand sanitize when you come out of the bathroom. One more thing to tell you is that all the doors, as much as possible, remain open. 
the, the doors to the classrooms will stay open so that we don't have to touch those points um, more than we need to. So we will try to keep these doors open as much as possible. And during arrival and during dismissal, there will be staff members at every entrance and every exit to hold the doors open so that you don't need to touch the doors on your way in or out of the building. So as you look around the room, just to so you see that all the students are spread out so that they're not near each other. So you can, all the students, can we say hi to our friends? And how excited are we to come back to school? Woo! All right, and I'm excited to see you. Let's go talk about arrival and dismissal now. Hi boys and girls, here we are at the kindergarten and the pre-K entry. So this is where all our friends in kindergarten and pre-kindergarten will enter the building. So I just want to show you the new procedure that we will have this year. Oh, here comes a kindergarten student now with their mom to say, so we ask that all parents please drop off before the fence so that, and then wave goodbye so you can give a hug and a kiss. And then they will watch their child go up to the door, which will be opened by a staff member so the child does not have to open the door themselves. They will walk in the building and they will walk down to their classroom and go right to the classroom this year. They will not be waiting outside. All right, so here's our kindergarten student. She's making her way down the hallway. She's going to her classroom where the teacher will greet her with hand sanitizer. And she will enter the classroom and go right to her seat, put her backpack on the back of her chair and unpack. Here we are outside the first grade entrance. This is also where all our bus students come into our building. So a couple new changes this year. We're gonna ask all parents to stop at the bottom of the stairs to keep this area over here clear so our students can social distance as they walk up into the building. As the bus students get off the bus, they will get off one by one as the bus driver instructs them. They will walk up these stairs. They will walk to the door where there will be staff members holding the doors open, telling them where to go. Many times our bus students will be escorted by paraprofessionals that will come and help them. Our first grade friends, you will also be coming in this way. Mrs. Gaudio, Mrs. Parker, and Mrs. Diorio's class. You will come up the stairs as well. Again, we ask parents to stay down at the bottom to allow for plenty of room for our students to walk up one by one, six feet apart, and maintain social distancing. Remember to please put your mask on because you will not be allowed to go into the building without a mask. Okay, boys and girls, here we are at the other end of Chestnut. This is the second grade entrance and dismissal. Um, for this year, we are going to ask all parents that are dropping off to please stay on the sidewalk. Our pathway up to the door is not that big, and we want to be able to maintain social distancing. So if we have two-way traffic, it would be very challenging to maintain distance. So parents, as you'll see, I'm going to walk up the path. We're going to ask that you drop them off on the sidewalk, and you can wave and watch them walk into the building. Or again, a staff member will be opening the door so they do not have to touch the door. They enter the building, go right to their classroom and sit at their seat and unpack. So I'm just gonna show you the path up to the door. Charles more than welcome to turn around and say, bye mom, I love you. Boys and girls, here we are in the back of the school. This is where our sixth, seventh and eighth grade students come into school and where they will be dismissed at the end of the day. Let me talk about dismissal real quick for all of our students. Our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade and our fifth, fourth, and third grade students, because they leave through one door to keep everybody safe, we have to stagger their dismissal. So as you probably know, because you received a letter from your teacher, they will be leaving at different times. Our eighth grade and our fifth grade will be dismissed at 235. Our seventh grade and our fourth grade will leave at 225 and our sixth grade and our third grade will be dismissed at 2.15. This again is to keep them safe so that they don't all dismiss at the same time because it would be very challenging to maintain social distance. So I would like to show you the path that a middle school student would take to enter the building. Oh, and here comes one of our middle school students now. Let's watch her enter the building. She will walk up the pathway to the building and she will enter where the middle school stairwell is and go right upstairs to the middle school wing where she will go to her seat and unpack at her seat. We will not be using lockers this year until this is all cleared. So until this is all cleared, students will be able to keep their backpack on them just like all the other students and they will keep it on the back of their chair. A staff member will have the doors held open. 
Okay, boys and girls, this is where third, fourth, and fifth grade enter our building and where they dismiss our building. So I just want to talk about arrival and dismissal for those grades. Just like always, you would come here, instead of lining up as you've done in the past, the doors will be open. There will be staff members holding the doors and you can just go right into the building and go right to your classroom following the one-way sign. There will be staff members all throughout the building to kind of guide you in the right direction to your class. The other thing I would like to talk about is drop off. If you are dropping off your student, your child, if you're getting dropped off by a parent and you're coming into our parking lot, we do have a drop off area. However, we are asking this year for you to drop off, let your child get out of the car and you continue so that we don't build up traffic in our parking lot. I'm sure a lot more parents will be dropping off this year than in the past. So again, we ask that you please come into our parking lot, stay along the sidewalk. Please do not double park. Let your child get out of the car and you stay in the car and allow them to enter into the building on their own. So we ask that you stay in your car, again, for social distancing and safety purposes. All right, boys and girls, one more change for this year will be late arrivals. If you by some chance are late to school and the doors have already been closed, all late arrival students will enter our building through the gym doors. They will not enter through the main entrance. So you just walk around to the side of the building you enter through the gym doors where there will be a table and some staff members there set up for the students to sign in and then they can proceed onto their classroom. All right, boys and girls, here we are outside of one of our classrooms. This is the kindergarten classroom. Just a couple things to show you that are different this year. This year, when you come into the building, you'll go directly to your classroom and your teacher, instead of giving you a high five or a small hug, they are going to squirt your hands with sanitizer on your way into the classroom. They will also do that at the end of the day on your way out of the classroom. Let's go take a look at what it looks like inside one of these classrooms. So as you see, boys and girls, we have set up the classroom. Most of the furniture is no longer in the classroom. We have taken out all the carpets. You can see there's no carpets because we can't get together and gather anymore during this time. Of, uh, of Corona. Um, we have also spread out the desk. We have taken out all the tables in the lower grades so that each student can have their own individual space that is theirs and only theirs. They are at least four to five feet apart so you are socially distanced from your neighbor. The other difference this year will be that every student will keep their backpack and it will go onto the back of their chair. In the backpack will be their jacket, their supplies, their lunch, their snack, everything will go inside of your backpack. And at least for the first week at school, it will go on the back of your chair. Some of the classrooms do have cubbies in them. And once the teacher has uh, created a routine, then we may be able to store some of our materials in the cubbies. But until then, for the first week of school, you will keep everything in your backpack. Your teacher will tell you what to take out and what to put in, and then everything will go home with you at the end of the day. And girls, here we are outside of the nurse's suite. And some changes this year with the nurse is if you are not feeling well, um, you are not gonna be able to just come straight down to the nurse. Your teacher will have to call the nurse first um, and let them know that you are not feeling well and that you would like to come visit the nurse. And then the nurse will give the teacher some directions on how to come down to the nurse. We have two, maybe three isolation rooms that are here. So it is a possibility that there are students that are exhibiting COVID symptoms. And that's why it is important that your teacher calls the nurse first and asks if it's okay to send you down to the nurse. Another change this year, boys and girls, will be recess. Recess will be a little different. For the first week, our playground will be closed until we can figure out a way to sanitize them and keep them safe for all students. So you will have recess. You can come out with your class. We ask you to maintain social distancing. If you can maintain social distancing with your friends, you're able to drop your mask. There will be no games like tag because you will have physical contact with each other. But there's plenty of space, as you see, in our property where you can come out and hang out with your friends and be safe and responsible. Hi, right, boys and girls. Here we are outside of our media center. A couple changes this year with the media and all specialists. So specialists will be in the classroom this year. Mrs. Rivera, Mrs. DiBasella, Ms. Minto, Mrs. Mead, Mrs. Ferguson, um, our three PE teachers, Mr. Mintz, Mrs. Delalo, and Mrs. Kelly will be going to your classroom until this is all cleared to have our special classes. 
The other difference with the media center is any child that is a late pickup, uh, whose parent is running a little bit late, those students will be brought to the library waiting for, to be picked up. As a parent, if you're coming to pick up your child after the dismissal time, you will go to the blue library door outside and that's where we will dismiss students from that are late pickups.